Number 40. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. Okay, then we have letter F. So in this case, we have to balance NO2 gas, which will yield nitrate ion, which is NO3 minus, and then nitrite ion, which is NO2 minus, and we have to balance this in basic conditions. Okay, so I wrote down here all of the rules that we need to balance something in a basic solution, right, or in basic conditions, but, oh, geez, look at the first one, guys. Get the acidic answer? Ugh, yeah, we have to get the acidic answer first. It always goes off of the acidic solution answer. And then all you got to do is just add these little tweaks. But the big thing that we have to memorize is knowing how to do that acidic condition or balancing an acidic solution. So that's why I wrote down all of these because we have to do these regardless. Yikes. Okay. So let's get the acidic solution answer first. And then all we got to do is just make that little couple of tweaks and then we're done. So let's go. The first thing for balancing an acid is we need to break our full equation into two half reactions. So pick the elements that go together. But now here, there's something that's a little special, right? I only notice that I have an NO2 gas on my left side, right? And specifically, it's just the nitrogen, right? But on the product side, I have two individual compounds that have the nitrogen. Which one is this one going to hook up with, right? Usually we have two and then one goes with one and the other one goes with the other one. Hmm, this one's interesting, right? But here's the thing. We're balancing, right? So technically I can have multiple of these. So what goes to say that I just add another one of the same compound, right? I'm not, I'm not adding a new compound. I'm just saying that now I have two of these and that's fair game. And now one of them will hook up with one of the nitrogen compounds and the other one will hook up with the other nitrogen compound. So that's that's basically the trick here, is that when you see that you have one compound going to two different ones that have the same element, just say that you have multiple of these. That's fair game. There you go. Okay, so now we have our half reactions. One of them, so I'll say NO2 gas will yield NO3 minus, right? And then we have NO2 gas, which will yield... And O2 minus. And now the first part is done. Now we need to balance all of the elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. So I can't look at any of my um, oxygens here. I have no hydrogens. So don't balance the oxygens yet. We're just looking at the nitrogens across the board. And do both half reactions as you talk about one single step. But in this case, all the nitrogens are balanced, right? I have one nitrogen, I have one nitrogen. I got one nitrogen, I got one nitrogen. So the nitrogens are all balanced, which means that step two, I checked for it, but it was done already. So thank you very much. We're moving on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to balance the oxygen. Oxygen before hydrogen, guys. So we balance oxygen by adding H2O. And just know if that if you need to add one oxygen on either side, you're always going to add it in terms of one H2O. Cool. So let's see. Well, on my left side here, I have an oxygen. On my right side here, I have an oxygen. I have two oxygens on my left side. I have three oxygens on my right side. So it looks like I need one more oxygen on my reactant side, on my left side. So if I need to add one oxygen, I need to add one H2O. So I would just put H2O. Now let's do the same thing for the bottom. I have an oxygen here. I have an oxygen here. I have two oxygens. I got two oxygens. So they're the same. I don't have to add any hydrogens. So this step is done. Now I balance the hydrogen. Balance the hydrogen by adding H plus. 
So if you need to add one hydrogen, I will add it in terms of one H plus. So let's work from top to bottom. I see that I have a hydrogen now that I added here, right? And I have two of them. But on my product side, I don't have any hydrogen. So if I have two and none, I have to add two hydrogen. And if you need two hydrogen, you'll add two H pluses. So I'll just add two H plus. Now let's do the same for the bottom, but the bottom doesn't have any hydrogen. So there's nothing for me to balance. So step four is done. Now we have to balance the charges. And we balance the charges by adding electrons. Electrons are E negative. Electrons are negative. And we always add electrons to the more positive side. So I have to find out which side of each half reaction is more positive. I like to do that by just splitting my reaction down the middle. And I like to get the total charge on the left, get the total charge on the right, and see which side is more positive. Now let's see. Remember that if you don't see any charge in the upper right hand corner, that's what we're going for here. You see how some of these have charges in the upper right hand corner? So we got to take those charges. But for these three, H2O and then the NO2, right? And then the NO2 down here, there's nothing. So these are all neutral compounds, which means that the charges are all zero. So zero charge for H2O zero charge for NO2, I have to add them together, but zero plus zero is an overall zero charge. Now let's see what the overall charge is of the left side. Well, I have a negative, right? That means a negative one. And I have only one of these. So my overall charge for nitrate would be a negative one. Plus, I have a positive, and that means that it's a plus one coming with the H, but there's two of them. So I have to multiply. Two times a plus one is a plus two. So a negative one plus a positive two, negative one plus two or two minus one is a negative one charge. Ah, just kidding. Gotcha guys, it's a plus one. Okay, now we just analyze. Which one is more positive? The zero or the plus one? Yeah, totally the plus one, right? So I know that I have to add electrons on this side, but how many? Well, what's the number difference? You want that plus one to go down to a zero. I only need to move one spot over if I think of it as a number line, right? So I would just add one electron or I'll just leave it as E minus, but maybe for this, I'll put the one here. Okay, let's do the same thing for the bottom. Well, we said before that NO2, since there was no charge, was a zero charge. So overall, this side is zero. And then here I have a negative, right? That means it's a negative one. And there's only one of these. So the overall charge would be a negative one. Which side is more positive here? The zero, right? So I know that I have to add electrons to now the left side. And this is a good check. Your electrons should be on opposite ends. If you accidentally, you know, have your electrons on this side, right, and both of them were on the same side, go back. Something happened. But now how many electrons? Well, from a zero all the way down to a negative one, I would just have to jump over one spot. So I add one electron. Now this part is done. So I added those electrons. And now before we balance them, I'm just going to get rid of... Um, the math here because we don't need all of this crazy stuff anymore. So I'm just going to kind of get rid of it just so that we don't, you know, we have space here. Okay, there we go. Now we need to balance those electrons, right? But if I look here, I have one electron on this side. I have one electron on this side. They're already balanced. So I don't have to do anything. This step is done. Now we need to cancel out like substances. We got to simplify. That's why we got rid of the electrons or that's why we had to get them the same number because we want them to cancel. The electron should not be in the balanced equation at the end. Is there anything else that I can cancel? No, 
There's nothing that I see that's on opposite sides. Now, these guys, these are the same, but they're on the same side. So these we add. We don't subtract. We subtract on the opposite side. We add on the same side. Now all we have to do is just rewrite it as one equation. So let's see. I have only limited amount of space, so I'm going to try to do it in the space that I have here. But technically, these go bye-bye, right? The electrons go bye-bye, right? They're not here anymore. And now all I have to do is just combine these two into one equation. So let's see. If I bring this down, right, it would, it would technically be this, right? And if I just bring this down, it would be these two, right? And then we can kind of get rid of this part. But now there's only one thing that I have to do. You're just simplifying. And here was the issue, guys, right? I have two of the same. So instead of writing it like this, I can get rid of one of them and just say that I had two of them. And now bring this closer. And now this is our nice, um, this is our nice acidic answer, all right? And that looks about good. So now we're done. And already step one is done for the, ba the basic solution. We got our acidic answer. Now, all we need to do is just tweak a couple of things. Now we just need to add as many OH minuses as you have H pluses to both sides. The H plus is what makes it acidic. The OH minus is what turns your answer into a base answer. So I'm scanning this. And I see on this side, I have two H pluses. So if I have two H pluses, I have to add as many OHs as I have H pluses. So I'm just going to add two OH minuses. But I got to be fair. If I add the two OH minuses to the right, I have to add the two OH minuses to the left. And that step is done. The last step, guys, is to just simplify you want to cancel out the like water. Now remember, and I'll put it down here, that for every H plus that you have that comes in contact with an OH minus, you will form water. And it's a one to one to one reaction. If I need, if I have one H plus and I have one OH minus, I'm going to make one water. So if I have two H pluses and two OH minuses, I'll make two waters. And that's what we have here. I have two H pluses coming in with two OH minuses. So this whole thing would get canceled out and I would just write that I have two waters. So there's that part. And now we just simplify. Well, I see that I have water on my left-hand side and I have two waters on my right-hand side. They're on opposite sides, so we, we simplify by subtraction. One is the lower number, so if I get rid of all of this, how many waters would I have left over here? Yeah, I would just have one H2O. So I get rid of this now. This is now the new one, and this doesn't exist anymore. So I can kind of pull this closer. And this is your final basic solution. Whew, that's the answer, guys. But as you can see, the acidic answer took the, the more work, right? It took us longer to do the acidic answer. And then the basic answer, oh, it's, just a, it's just a couple of things, all right? So that's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're hoping to get to 10K soon. I mean, I hope so, if you guys will let us. It's all in your hands, all right? Um, thank you so much. Have an awesome day, all right? Bye-bye.